I have dropped my bike a total of two and a half times, okay? And I'll, I'll explain what the half was, because it wasn't really a drop, but it was kind of a drop. I, I counted in that category. But yeah, I've, I've dropped my bike two and a half times total. This bike right here, my 2002 Honda Shadow Sabre. And the first time was just after I got the bike. I was pulling into my driveway at my house. And in order to get into my driveway, you have to ride over the sidewalk. And there's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a, of a, uh, a, a, an incline at the uh, you know on the sidewalk so it it runs from the from the street to the gutter to the sidewalk and then up into my driveway anyway I was turning right into my into my driveway got my front wheel up on top of the sidewalk and for whatever reason decided to squeeze on the front brake <laughs> and I don't know exactly why I did that I mean I'm assuming to slow down I, I chalk it up to the fact that I was not used to the brakes and this and that what, whatever happened I made a mistake I, I messed up my bike comes to a dead a dead halt just BAM stops totally just stops in its tracks and stands straight up and down. I've got one front tire on the sidewalk. The back tire is kind of in the street in the gutter a little bit. And I go to put my foot down and I'm higher up. And my foot kind of goes into the gutter a little bit. And there's nothing there <laughs> to catch me. And so I go Oh, bam! And right over to the side. Not hard. It wasn't that hard, but I definitely because I was trying to catch it on the way down. But it definitely dropped at that point in time. And very, very lucky for me, nothing really happened. I got some. I, I actually um, was far enough up onto the sidewalk where the the right side. When I fell over, to, I fell over to the right that the bike went into the grass a little bit, or that the handlebars went into the grass a little bit. So my mirror over here, my, my right mirror, I actually had some grass kind of kind of sticking in the, the side over here. And uh, there was very little that actually hit concrete, and, and the part that did, I think it was my brake lever, my, uh, my uh, front brake lever. Hit the concrete a little bit, but it was fine. I mean, no major damage anywhere else. And so I was very, very happy about that. The uh, second time that I dropped my bike was uh, at work, actually. I rode into work and uh, pulled into the parking lot and, you know, parked my bike turned off my bike and was gathering together my stuff and started to step off of my bike and never put the kickstand down and I don't know if for those of you who've done the same thing you know what happens when you don't put the kickstand down and you try and get off the bike you go down with the bike and you're like ah shit anyway this time I fell over to the left and what made this drop so memorable was that I had a a friendly co-worker who was there in the parking lot as well saw me falling over and was like hey man do you need some help I was like yes I need some help come and help me this bike is heavy and 
I'm trying to hold up the bike halfway and trying to keep it from falling all the way down. And my coworker, um, man, uh, he was he was so nice, but he didn't know anything about bikes. He didn't know anything about motorcycles. So what he did was he tried to. Uh, well, what he didn't try, he actually did. He grabbed my pipe. He grabbed one of my pipes on the right side. You know, he grabbed the exhaust pipe and singed his freaking hand. And he's like, ah! <laughs> I was like, I felt so bad. I was like, hey man, I'm so, so sorry. I should have told you you can't grab the pipe. Um, and he still ended up helping me get the bike up. And after that, I uh, brought him some aloe so he could put that on his hand. He wasn't seriously hurt, but he definitely um, he definitely got a good burn on his hands. Yeah, that was uh, that was memorable. The the half time, those are the two times. There was a half time. After those two times happened, I was like, you know what? I, I, I had such a hard time lifting the bike when the bike fell down that, that second time. And I was like, you know what? I need to practice. I need to practice lifting this bike. And so, you know, I, I need to, to get my technique down so that in the event that I do go down again, which very well may happen, I can lift the bike. And so what I did was in my garage, in a nice safe, what I thought was a safe way, I even put down some, some towels and things like that onto the floor, some old shirts so my, my bike wouldn't get all scratched. And I went ahead and laid it down onto the left hand side now the, <laughs> the issue was when I laid the bike down the left mirror right here hit the ground first and didn't hit the ground I mean it was nice and gentle but the mirror went down the mirror started to bend off and BAM my clutch perch broke this actual assembly right here broke on me I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. My mirror goes skidding across the garage floor. I pick it up. I'm trying to super glue it back on. D uh, you know, didn't work, obviously. Had to uh, uh, end up replacing the clutch perch, which I didn't even know was called a clutch perch. But ended up, you know, buying another piece and, and it wasn't hard to do. You know, it was real easy actually. But but ridiculous. That was money that I spent on a clutch perch. I mean, not that much. I don't know if it was like 20 bucks or whatever. But money that I spent on a clutch perch when I didn't have to spend that money on a clutch perch. It was, um, it was ridiculous. I did, though, on the plus side, get some good practice in terms of lifting the bike and got the technique down, I think, fairly, fairly well. Um, you know, as long as you got the technique down, I mean, even lifting a heavy bike like, like this 2002 Honda Shadow Sabre is, is actually, uh, you know, it's, it's actually not bad. It's actually pretty, pretty, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it's like that quick. You can just pick it right up. But if you got the technique down, then bam, I mean, even, even a small woman could lift up a big heavy bike. I mean, you really just use your legs. There's a technique where you sit on the seat on the side and uh, you, you, you kind of hold onto the bike and you just push up with your legs. It comes right up. No problem. So it was real, uh, it was still in the end a good thing to do because I got the technique down. Anyway, drop on my bike. That happens. Um, you know, I'm sure that that many motorcycle riders out there have dropped their bikes, uh, probably even worse than, than those drops. But it does happen. It comes with the territory of owning a motorcycle. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, my people out there, be sure to ride safe. Be sure to ride with care. And be sure to ride with confidence. Head up 100% of the time, straight up and down, like you own this road. This is Super B. So, I have, let's not do the so.